as the as the title of this thing says, what what I want to speak to you about is the uh, the power of attention. And some of you, or maybe most of you, have already under been working with attention in the manner that we uh, ask you to do, that which is to get your get control over what you attend to by the simple exercise of, uh, of uh, trying to count to 10 uh, without being distracted by other stuff going on in your mind or, on, or in the room that you're sitting in or anything at all. <clears throat> we know, we, we advise this because we know from our own experience that if you have control over your attention, you it puts you into in the position of having complete control over your mind. That's the case. It make gives you control over your mind. It gives you the ability to determine for yourself which arisings of uh, of uh, mental stuff is worth your while and which is which is not. And for most of us, prior to doing this exercise, or, and the many, many people who don't even have a sense of what I'm talking about at all, the, the ability for you to determine what is worth your while and not worth your while is the whole, the whole thing that is that brings you to brings you home to your own life, to your own mind, to your ability to understand and work with your mind, your life, without the intervention and, and stupidity of uh, much of what is floating around in our, our mental space. So if you have been doing this work for any length of time, you probably know that, and you may or may not still have gotten to 10. It's hard. If you're doing this at all, you will know that getting to 10 is a really hard thing to do. Those who may be here who have not been doing the exercise might uh, think this to be really weird. But if you if that's the case, try it yourself. Go to the website, get the instructions for doing it, and, and do that to yourself. And you will soon learn how, how little, how little um, power we have over the things that we pay attention to uh, until you get control over it. But I would like also today to find a way, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this, but I really want to find a way to have you see that attention is all you have. There is nothing else whatsoever that you can do in your life, in your mind, other than attention. And since for most of us, our attention is hijacked by uh, the, the <clears throat> persistence of mental uh, algorithms that are, that are left over from the days of the fear, getting control of your attention can be extremely hard. We, we have habits of paying attention to whatever comes to our mind. But more than anything else, and what might bring you to see this more clearly is to understand that attention is not something among a bunch of other somethings that you could do something about. Attention is the only thing. I'm going to say that again. Attention is the only thing that you have anything to say about at all. And that's the truth. 
And for most of us, since we have been born in fear, for most of us, we don't even have a sense that that could possibly be true. What attention goes to, you have nothing to say about. And that's just the way it is. If, uh, if uh, something arises and, 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 uh, and is attended, uh, that's it. That's, you don't have anything to say about that at all. And for most of us, until we get control over attention, for most of the human species, there is no such thing as an idea that you can determine for yourself what you attend to. For most of us in these in these times, when uh, when uh, <laughs> when whatever arises arises, it seems to be that that's that's what you have to do. The that's it. You you have to do that. It calls it attention. It calls to you, and you have to go there. You have to go to where whatever is arising with your mind at that time, it's not like you have to, it's even less than you have to. You don't even have the sense we, prior to control of our attention, we don't even have the sense that there is any way to do other than to follow what attention goes to. And that's the, that is, that is more than anything else, that's the problem that fear has brought us to. That's the thing that makes our lives miserable. That's the thing that makes us seem to be, have nothing to say about what's happening to our lives, except to mitigate what's going on or whatever, or that. So, then this is what the, the uh, self-directed attention uh, process brings an end to. But the thing to see is that, and, and the reason why these things are so uh, powerful to get, to bring our attention, this, the reason for that is because we have a sense that we don't have anything to say about what we attend to. If the, if the, if something arises and attention is drawn to it, it's, it, is, it is as if there is nothing else to do. There's not even the idea that there's anything you could do or would do or want to do. Attention is its own, <laughs> its own master. Attention is its own master. And that's just not true. That's only the case in minds, which pretty much is everybody in the world. It's only the case in minds that in which the, idea, the sense that attention goes to where it needs to go is, is that's only then. And what we usually do, we don't even think about having the possibility of attending to something or declining to attend to something, it is as if that that's what you have to do. That's what, that's what you have to do. You have to go there, but that's a lie. You don't have to attend to what calls you. You don't have to. And the reason that you don't have to is because you actually are consistently and forever the master of your attention. <clears throat> but that's only af that only starts after you look at yourself. Yes, so right. But I'm I'm yeah. speaking without that. Okay. In the normal, in the so-called normal manner of things. Then you, you have no control. You have no control. It's as if it's just it's natural for you to, to attend to whatever calls your attention. There's a lot of exercises and a lot of um, methods that are supposed to have you control of your, you gain control of your attention, like mind control, all that stuff. I don't know exactly how that works, but without losing the fear of life, it doesn't really work. Yeah. And right? even after, 
losing the fear of life, that it will be continue to be that way unless you decide to get control over what you attend to. Yeah. Now, one thing that I would really would like you to understand here is that, <clears throat> oh, don't go away, Carla. I'd like to see you there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a distraction, though. Yeah. No, it's not just it's okay. distracting. <clears throat> the one thing that I'd like you to see that is pretty hard to understand is that actually, even in the mind that is driven by fear, actually, the only thing you have anything to say about at all is your attention. There's nothing else that you can do. Nothing. Nothing but that. And we don't know that. It's because we don't know that. Mm -hmm. Because the mind that is born in fear, mm -hmm. naturally, the attention goes to whatever calls it. Whatever says, this is what you should look at. Yeah. So what you're saying is that for any, ev absolutely everybody, free of fear or not, the only thing that we can have any uh, say over is where we put our attention. But once you are, when your mind is still clouded by the fear mechanisms and that fear of life is still there, you don't even know. And That's then right. you lose the fear and then you learn of that possibility, but you still have no control unless you practice and develop that control because it's not a given. It doesn't just appear. You have to work on it. Yes, that's right. But for yeah. both, in both cases, that's the only thing that can be done, except that when we are, you know, controlled by the fear of life, we have no way of even practicing that or having access to that. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. and, and again, and I, I will probably repeat this more than once, attention is the only thing you can have anything to say about. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's nothing else that you have to have to do is attend or not attend to what calls you. And that's the purpose. And, and I, it's what I really want you to hear uh, is what I just said. There's nothing you can do except attend. There's nothing whatsoever you can do except attend to what arises and falls. That's it. There's nothing else. And in the fear driven mind, you have lost any possibility of having anything to say about what you attend to. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. So that once you have done, once you have gotten to the point where fear is not the, the overriding nature of your mind, once you have done that, then you can, if you will, gain control over your attention and and determine for yourself what's worthy of your attention and what's not worthy of your attention. And that's it. That's all you can do. That's the end of everything. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I really want to get this home to you. You don't have anything but attention. And prior to getting rid of the, the fear, you have no possibility of determining for yourself what to attend to and what not to attend to. Attention is the only thing in your entire life that you have anything to say about. And until you actually gain control over it, it is still the only thing in your life that you have anything to say about, only you don't, if you don't do the work, you don't get to do, to, to determine for yourself what's worthy of you and what's not worthy of you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I want you to hear. That, that's the main thing that I want you to hear. This is not like, and, and what I'm saying is, this is not like, a, 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 what? This yes, is. It does. Sorry. 
This is it. There's nothing else but attention. There's nothing but attention that you have anything to say about. And for most of us, I want to make this clear, and I'm sure that you can remember this for, for yourself. For most of us, we have no sense whatsoever that we have anything to say about what we attend to. We attend to what calls our attention. Mm -hmm. What calls our attention is when you're driven by fear, what calls our attention is stupidity. <laughs> and, and even after you get free of the uh, most part of the fear, still the habit of call, going to where attention leads you remains. It's not, it doesn't go away because you're no longer fear, full of fear. Your, your attention will, is lazy. It doesn't, it doesn't have any interest in what you should do or what you should not do. Your attention is there just to go to what calls it. Now, uh, one uh, question that we often get is, um, you're talking about when you develop control of your attention, you can decide what is worthy of your attention and what is not. Yes, and the question that comes to many people, and it's a good question, is how do you know what's worthy and what is not worthy of your attention? When you're, when, when you're done with the fear, it's, it, it, your natural intelligence will, will uh, help you, will bring you home to the right place. Uh, but there's a, there's a tip, there's a little uh, pointer that I find useful, which is um, when, you, when your attention is called by thoughts that have absolutely nothing to do with the present situation, they are irrelevant in that moment. Like yeah. you're, you're doing something, but you're thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow or what somebody else said. Those are irrelevant in that moment where you're in a situation or trying to solve something or in a conversation. So those things are irrelevant and you can decline to attend to them. That's a good starting point. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Anything that's not relevant in the moment to what's going on right now is irrelevant. And in that moment, you can decline to attend to it. They may become relevant in another situation, but that's kind of that's a good way to start, I think. That's a that's a very good understanding of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You you uh, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you have nothing whatsoever except attention. That's it. There's nothing you have anything to say about except attention. That's it. And for most of us, for most of our lives, the idea that, that if I say that to somebody on the street, they would call me crazy. Mm -hmm. anyway, the, <laughs> oh, I can do a lot of things. I can do that. I can do this. I can do the other. But the only place where there is energy to uh, to do or not do what it is that's calling you is your attention. Mm -hmm. That's nothing more. That's it. Mm -hmm. And what, and the sooner you see that, the better off you're going to be. The, the, the stupidity, the stupid thoughts that come to your mind, they're not your doing. But if you attend to them, you're feeding them. If you decline to offend to them, they die. That's it. The, the looking itself doesn't kill off all of the soldiers of fear. They're still there in your mind, mental algorithms in your mind, until they either die off over time or you decline to attend to them because the only way they stay is if mm -hmm. you're paying attention to them. That's it. And uh, again... <laughs> Yet again, attention is everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want you to get here. And what I want you to see also is the power you have 
once you gain control over your attention, it, 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 it changes your whole life. It changes everything when you have control over your attention, when you can decide for yourself to decline or to follow some arising mental algorithm. And if you attend to it, it'll, it will blossom. It will blossom. Because yeah. you have more available right. attention to That's focus right. on what's important. Right. It will blossom no matter whether what's happening is good or bad. Mm -hmm. And once you have gotten away, gotten, got to the habit of understanding that, the only thing that you're going to attend to are the things that are useful to you. And those things that are useful to you then will uh, blossom, as, as Carla said. They will said. have your full attention because it's not being wasted on That's feeding right. soldiers of fear. Now, I wanted just to... Um, touch something so you look at yourself it will eliminate that context of fear but you need to and then you need to do this practice of self-directed attention to really gain control of your attention right and accelerate the process but also have a, your attention at your disposal right you like you're a master of your attention you can develop that That's i just right. would like to remind uh if, especially those who are new to this work that you do the exercise as is described in uh, in our book for a while and when you start feeling that you're able to turn your attention back to your breath and you're having a little bit of control you got to start trying to do that in your daily life not just during the 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening that you spend doing the exercise and i think that's worth reminding uh, you, uh, everybody of the exercise is just get you started and then you continue doing the exercise but you start using using this um power however much you have developed in your life and that will also help you develop more control am i clear here john uh, yes, clear. you have to use it you have to practice not just the exercise the exercise is to get you this uh control but you have to use it in your daily life. And then you really see the power of that you have to say, okay, this is not worth my attention. I'm not gonna pay attention to it. Put your attention back to your breath. And over time, that becomes natural. You don't even need to do that. Natural, yes. You just that's... decline and pay attention to something else. Yes. It's, but it's... it has to be done outside of the practice. The practice is like you're lifting the weights and then you go out to use that strength that you're gaining to lift boxes. That's exactly <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something like that.